Research shows that there is a relationship sprouting between plant roots and fungi. This could lead to the elimination of harsh chemicals making their way into our environment and healthier future crops. Pesticides, of course, they kill the pests that we want to kill, but they kill also all kinds of other microbes, even the beneficial microbes. And when it comes to fertilizers, the excessive nutrients in the runoff are a breeding ground for harmful bacteria and organisms, especially when it's overused. So we actually count the number of these herbascules. Salk scientists, including plant biologist Lena Mueller, are getting the green light on a sustainable alternative. These soil fungi colonize the roots of the plants, and at the same time, they form this very um, wide network of filament that expand, extends beyond the root system. The symbiosis, or mutually beneficial relationship, between plants and soil fungi was seen after growing a species of fungi with a small legume, which is a member of the pea family. This network is really, really good at taking up nutrients, and it brings the nutrients from far away places in the soil to the plant. The new study revealed this soil interaction was enhanced by a key molecule produced by plant roots, a peptide called CLE-16. We think it accelerates or amplifies uh, symbiosis. So there's really a lot more symbiosis in the plant roots when we add this peptide. The goal is to apply this research to major crops to get away from relying on artificial fertilizers for nutrients. Crops like alfalfa and soy. Um, so our hypothesis is that similar processes should occur in these crops um, because actually the symbiosis is very widespread. We are what we eat, but I, I go further and I say we are what we walk on because it is the soil, it is the earth. We do have a interconnectedness to, to that whole. The man dropping knowledge like roots is Adam McCurdy, the director of production and distribution at Coastal Roots Farm. They grow 80,000 pounds of food per year from an eight-acre food forest. He notes the overuse of artificial fertilizers can take a toll on the produce quality. But you're getting a big, huge head of broccoli that looks all beautiful and great. But if you've ever had one of those and you taste it and you're kind of like, oh, cardboard um, or yuck, then you are getting something that didn't have all of those interactions that brought all of those nice nutrients and minerals and everything that our bodies depend on. They embrace old age agricultural farming and ancient Jewish traditions. They also participate in field to research practices and welcome the data from studies like this one. As folks are recognizing, we're part of nature and nature has it all figured out. So we don't, we, we need to get out of the way. This is just another food for thought in the process. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Javis. Yeah, and from all that food that they grow there at Coastal Roots Farm, they donate over 70% to our community to combat food insecurity. They also have a pay-as-you-go farm stand that's open on Thursdays and Sundays, and maybe I'll see you there. And if you want more times for, those farm stand, for the farm stand, as well as a detailed version of this story, go to cbs8.com slash earth8. We see everyone being more conscious every day about yes. pesticides in foods, about uh, synthetic additives, color additives being taken out. This is like that next level for it. Oh yeah, but here's the thing, it's already happening yeah. and about 80% of plants the research can be applied to because it already happens with that interaction between the soil fungi as well as talking about the plant roots. And I think anybody who grows vegetables at home knows how great they taste. Yes. You don't want to put all that junk in the soil. Oh, right. I will tell you that because even when I was there during the story, I will admit, I did take some kale. It oh, is the best kale. It was wow. offered to me though, but it was the best kale I've ever had, but no, none of the artificial yeah. ingredients with that. You know, it tastes the, different. The lower end agribusiness stuff, the smaller farms, you really do taste yeah. that come out and your backyard. And worth it. Oh yeah. yeah. It's so good. Thanks, Carly. Thanks, Carly.